This is a hydrothermal vent, a crack in the deep ocean floor where hot water and energy-rich chemicals flow out, as you can see here. Many different types of microorganisms and animals live here. It's thought that life on Earth and possibly life on other planets or possibly on some of Jupiter's moons may have begun at vents like this one. In this science project, you will investigate whether there are microbes in a natural water source near you that could have survived some of these early Earth conditions, including very basic and acidic waters. You will attempt to culture these microbes on auger plates, which are also known as petri dishes, and on at least some of your plates, you will likely end up growing some microbes like the ones you see here. So you want to find a good water source that probably has a diversity of microbes. So you could take your jar and just go ahead and fill it up. There you go. So we have a nice sample of the water. All right, so you've got your water sample. And what you want to do next is fill up each of your containers with the same amount of that sample. So here we are going to use about 100 milliliters, which is about the same as 0.4 cups. So the important thing is just to fill them all with the same amount. You want to mix up your sample a little first in case things settle to the bottom. And then remove the lid and carefully pour out to 100 milliliters. All right. So we have our 100 milliliters of pond sample, and you're going to take it and put it into the first container that we're going to use to eventually uh, put on our auger plates. So we have just a baby food container that has been cleaned. And sterilize it with 70% isopropyl alcohol too. So, and similarly, you want to repeat this with the next jars that you're going to be adjusting the pH in. So next we're going to test the pH of just the normal pond sample. And so you can use these pH strips to do this. Always read the instructions for whatever pH strips you're using. So these ones say to just put it in the test sample for half a second, then shake the strip to remove excess solution and compare it to the color chart. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these out. All right, put it in here all the way down, half a second, shake any excess. So it looks like our pH here is right around seven, which is what we would expect for the sample. So using a sterilized eyedropper that has been sterilized with 70% isopropyl alcohol, um, and then let to air dry. We're going to add just two drops of the distilled white vinegar to the pond sample and see how this adjusts the pH. It will probably end up being around six. So just two drops. One, two. Okay. So you'll want to repeat this process with the distilled vinegar to create jars with pH of four, five, and six. And then with an adult's help, you'll create a jar using bleach with pH eight and nine. And be sure to always follow all safety precautions when handling bleach. After you have created these six jars, you will let them sit for 30 minutes so that the different pHs will have time to affect the microbes. All right, so after you let the pond sample sit at the correct pH for 30 minutes, then you are ready to go ahead and put it on the plate. So to do that, we've got our auger plate here, all right? And we have these sterile applicators, or they look like big Q-tips. So what you want to do is carefully open this end here so that you're away from the part that you will spread on the plate. And you only need one to start, so let's take one out. Make sure this doesn't touch anything. You can dip it into your sample, swirl it around so it's nice and mixed. 
Don't let it drip too much. And then we're just gonna do a simple zigzag pattern on the plate. I'm gonna tilt it so you can see, but you do not want to touch the auger of the plate. So we're just gonna go back and forth in a zigzag pattern. I'm gonna go all the edge, all the way top and bottom, like that. There we go. Now it's ready to sit for a few days. After you are done preparing all six auger plates with your water samples, place them somewhere out of the way at room temperature, upside down, and check on them each day for three days. So you should end up with little colonies of microbes growing on your control plate. So the control plate is gonna be the same pH as the pond sample, probably right around pH seven. As you can see here, we've got lots of colonies which are kind of whitish in color growing on this plate. So it successfully cultured um, those microbes from the pond. Check on your other plates each day too for three days to see if they are growing colonies that are similar to or different to the control plate. If you do see colonies on the other plates, that suggests that those microbes are able to survive the acidic or basic conditions that they were treated with. There are many other things you can try for this experiment. So for more ideas and written instructions, make sure you check out the link in the video description. For over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out our website at www.sciencebuddies.org.